Third Year Water Supply Service and Distribution Sizing, Part 1. We will use a four-story small commercial building to size the water service and the distribution pipe. Step 1. Water Service Pipe Sizing Method. Please open your codebook as we will use the following two tables to size this building. Table A2631 will be used to size the water service and the distribution pipe. Table 2632A will be used to size the fixture unit load for each fixture. This building consists of four stories with two apartments on each story. There are four bathrooms, two kitchens and two clothes washers per story. Let's count the fixture units for each fixture. As you can see, there is a kitchen sink worth 1.4 fixture unit, as well as a dishwasher, a bath, two bathtubs, and a clothes washer, all worth 1.4 fixture units each. There are also laves that are worth 0.7 fixture units each. In order to figure out how to use the tables, Let's look at the toilets. All the toilets are 6 liters per flush. They are all worth 2.2 .2 fixture units each. As we look at table 2632A, under the total column and under water closet, it shows 2.2 .2 fixture units. Let's now look at the dishwasher, which has hot only serving it. We will now proceed to the same table and under the total column only look for domestic dishwasher and it will read 1.4 fixture units. If we were to add up each individual fixture, including both kitchen sinks, both dishwashers, all four bathtubs, all four toilets, and all the clothes washers, we would come up with a grand total of 25.6 fixture units per story. With this information, we will now multiply the 25.6 fixture units times all four stories to get a grand total of 102.4 fixture units. Then we'll add the hose bib on the left, the 2.5 fixture units, for a peak total of 104.9 fixture units for the entire building. The 104.9 fixture units will be used as the total to size the water service. The next step will be to measure the developed length from the water main property line to the building shutoff, which equals 12 meters in developed length. We will then need to find out the pressure at the water main, which is 550 kPa or 80 psi, which is the maximum allowable pressure in a building. The next step is to find out the elevation difference from the water main to the building shutoff, which is in this case 3 meters in total height. We will now use this information in order to size the water service. Each meter of height equals 10 kPa. Therefore, 3 meters times 10 kPa equals 30 kilopascals. Subtract this from the existing water main pressure of 550 kPa and you will get 520 kPa of building shutoff derated pressure. This will be the pressure that we will use on this table. So scroll over to your table and look under pressure over 413 kPa because ours is 520 kPa. We will also look at that total developed length of 12 meters. So look at the top of your table under 12 
Remember, this developed length is the developed length from the property line to the building shutoff. Now scroll down your table and look at 151. That's the next number higher than the 104.9 total fixed units that we had for the entire building. Scroll to the left and you will see that the water service size is inch and a half. We have now sized the water service located outside of the building from the property line to the building shutoff. This completes step one of the water service pipe sizing method. We will now continue on to step number two, which is sizing the water distribution pipe. The water distribution pipe is located inside the building downstream of the main building shutoff, located right near the water meter, as illustrated in this animation. The first step to sizing the water distribution pipe is to measure the developed length all the way from the building shutoff in the basement to the most remote fixture in the building or the farthest away fixture in the building. In this particular case, it will be on the fourth floor, the top floor, and it will be the clothes washing machine. Its total developed length from the main building shutoff to this most remote fixture, the washing machine, is 31 meters. Once again, the total developed length from the main building shutoff to the most remote fixture, which was the clothes washing machine, equals 31 meters. Now scroll over to your table and look for the 46 meters, which is just higher than the 31 meters, and that will be the column that we will use. The next step is to find out the elevation difference between the main building shutoff and the uppermost floor. So we'll scroll down here to the main building shutoff, which is in the basement, and we will continue up all four stories to the top floor. The elevation difference from the main building shutoff to the uppermost floor in this particular building is 13 meters. That is the vertical distance from the main building shutoff right up to the top floor. We will now use this information in order to size the water distribution pipe. This will be the adjusted D-rated pressure that we can now find on table 2631. So, 13 meters times 10 kPa equals 130 kPa. 520 kPa minus 130 kPa equals 390 kPa. Therefore, the adjusted D-rated pressure from the water distribution entry to the highest point in the building will be 390 kPa. We will now scroll back to the table as 390 kPa fits between the pressure range of 311 to 413 kPa. Using this table, go to your developed length once again, 46 meters as 31 is under 46. Scroll down to the 128 number as we are using still the total fixed unit load of 104.9 fixed units for this building. Then scroll to the left and you will find that the size of the water distribution piping will be inch and a half in size. This inch and a half water distribution piping is located downstream of the main building shutoff. It is the initial water distribution pipe size into the building. We have now completed part one sizing the water service in the water distribution pipe. Part two will size the water distribution hot and cold branches in the building. Please check your modules for more information on water sizing.